Hello, this is a little film I made uh, constructing a power supply. Uh, the special with this power supply is that it is portable, it has uh, batteries in it and uh, doesn't need any external power to, to be used. Uh, as you can see, I, uh, we can adjust it uh, up to 26.9 volts down to about 1.5. Um, I always want the power supply that is portable. I can easily take out uh, to the garage and so on to uh, test different things. And uh, this can provide up to three am am amps of power, so it's quite powerful. Uh, here I'm testing um, some load up to one amp, I think, uh, just showing you that uh, it's uh, seen in this display. You, know, you can also see. Um, it's showing watts and um, also some milliampere hours also. Here I can adjust the and limit the current and here it is set to about uh, 50 milliampere before the LED is going light show, uh, showing that it's limited and now I have adjusted it a little bit more let's see up to uh, 300 uh, milliampere it will uh, limit the current. Uh, so now the power supply is upside down. Down, you can see the uh, the holes uh, showing the LED LEDs for the charger uh, modules. Here I'm connecting my uh, external uh, power supply to uh, um, charge the batteries, and uh, the LEDs are turning red, showing that it is charging. When they are green, uh, the cells are charged. So it's one module and one LED for each cell. So now we are up to the construction phase. So to start with I'm testing the layout of the components. So we have uh, first this uh, battery holder that uh, has been uh, wired in serial and I need uh, one uh, each cell individual so I had to cut the wires between them and do some modifications here to be able to have one wire connected to each battery. Here are the charger modules. Uh, they charge the battery and cut off when the battery is fully charged and also it will, they will cut the power if the uh, voltage is, is getting too low on the batteries. Here I'm using hot glue to um, um, stick them to this holder. Hot glue is not the best I found because these are getting warm and uh, the, they are melting <laughs> and uh, getting loose so you could use some other uh, additive to to glue them to, to uh, the holder instead. So here yeah, adding all the wires uh, for the individual cells to each module. This last one was a little bit special because I had to glue the spring to the holder. So after this is done I have to connect uh, all the modules in serial, actually I already done that so I had to add the last uh, two wires then um, for the output to the regulator but uh, still I'm, I'm soldering uh, the last cell. So here we have uh, the output wires connected to the end of each module uh, that are connecting serial. So I'm testing it here. See that everything works. Yeah, I have some output. So I have no charger connected at this moment. This first uh, setup is without any charge function. So I'm marking up to make holes to be able to um, uh, screw 
uh, use screws to attach the holder to this uh, box but uh, first I will make some small holes for the LEDs so I can see them through the back of the uh, case So next is to uh, lay out the front panel, but first I added some uh, rubber feet. Uh, so the front panel, I'm laying out the potentiometers, the power output and the display and trying to figure out the best way to fit them. It's very very narrow fit here because the display is um, quite um, large and uh, it's going to be very very thin uh, plastic left on the end Uh, these uh, potentiometers that I'm using are uh, multi-turn potentiometers so you have a number of turns um, from end to end and uh, that's uh, perfect so you can do very very precise settings, fine adjustments on them So now it's time to uh, start to uh, connecting some wires to the regulator board. The regulator board is uh, bought from China uh, and it's a quite cheap one. Uh, it's a back boost converter so it can both um, uh, lower the voltage compared to the input and uh, boost the voltage up. Um, the good thing with this board is that it has uh, both voltage and the current um, adjustments and possibilities so um, that and that was a need for this project so here I have removed the potentiometers that was uh, soldered to the board and instead I'm gonna add uh, wires to them 
to be able to uh, connect them to the front potentiometers. This board also has uh, three status LEDs. Uh, one is um, for um, yeah showing showing that uh, a normal operation uh, voltage limited, and one is for uh, current uh, operation. Then there is a third one uh, that is really not used, but uh, it is for a charger charging limiting function that uh, is a part of this board. But I'm adding all the three uh, LEDs for external uh, cables to external uh, to the LEDs for external uh, uh, front panel connections. So now starting to uh, with the back panel, and the first thing I'm adding here is the power switch, the on-off switch. Uh, later on, I will add also a charging battery charge uh, connector, but that will be um, shown in the next movie. So I'm soldered the cables from uh, the battery holder to the power switch, and then the other two in for in uh, as input to the board. So now it's time to um, connect all the cables to uh, the front panel. So here I'm uh, adding a little cheap DC DC uh, converter to separate the power from the battery to the front LED display. Uh, I had some problems connect power to the front uh, display, uh, or actually it's an OLED display, uh, because it's uh, yeah it it has to be separated from from the power. Otherwise, it's you have some so short circuiting circuit problems. So a DC DC converter um, helped that. So I'm sticking the module to the case and starting to uh, wire up all the things. <coughs> I'm trying to find the place best place for the DC DC converter. So the power input is from the directly from the uh, battery holder uh, through the power switch, and the other side is just connected to the OLED display. So now the main part of the front panel is connected, so I'm doing my first test now to see if everything works. I'm connecting an external power supply with limited current just to avoid 
uh, any damage if you have any short circuits or some wrong connections internally. So changing voltage here, everything seems okay. So next step is to to install the front LEDs before I go any further. It's uh, there are three front LEDs. One um, is showing the green is showing um, a normal operation where you limited the voltage, <coughs> and the red will light up if you have uh, the current limited. Let's say you have set it to 50 milliampers and you have um, a source um, draining let's say 60 milliampers then it will show that with the red light that you are limiting the current then the center led is yellow and it's not used it is um, for a charging function that you have in the circuit so I'm testing the leds here and now I'm connecting my batteries see that it works with batteries as well so here I'm adding some um, load on the power supply and see that the, the LEDs are flipping and I can regulate the current so it's soon finished I had to add knobs and um, so but um, the, the power supply is finished uh, next, next step will be to add a socket for the charger battery charger that will I will uh, come back to a new with a new vid video on. <coughs> Doing s final test here. Okay, thank you. Goodbye for now.